Today we are going to discuss refractions of waves. At the beginnings of this lesson, I will discuss the speed of water wave because refractions of wave is affected by the speed of wave. So you need to know what are the factors that affect the speed of the wave. Uh, now let's look at this slide here. This is a wave. Okay, this is water. This is water. And then this is the base of the tank. And from here, we can see that at these regions, the water is deeper compared to these regions. Uh, this region is shallower. And then uh, also from the image, we can see that here at the deeper regions, the wavelength is longer. And at the shallower region, the wavelength is shorter. So that is the first thing that you need to know. Eh? The wavelength of a wave will change according to the depth of the water. The wavelength of a water wave will decrease if the depth of the water decreases. Okay, so when a wave passes from deep to shallow water, their wavelength becomes shorter. The second thing that you need to know is at these uh, deeper regions, uh, deeper regions, the wavelength is longer. And from the equation for the uh, speed of wave, uh, the equations v equal to v equal to f lambda, right? F lambda, and uh, lambda is the wavelength. Uh. So, so uh, frequency will remain unchanged. Which means uh, if the wavelength is longer, then the speed of the wave uh, will be higher. A longer wavelength, faster the, the wave move, uh, the speed will be higher. So at the deeper regions, the wave move faster. And at the shallower regions, the wave move slower. So that's the second thing that you need to know. The speed of a wave will decrease when moving from deeper to shallower regions. Uh. At deeper regions, the wave move faster. At shallower regions, the, the wave move slower. Finally, the frequency. Uh, the frequency of the wave will remain unchanged. Okay, Because the frequency depends on the source. Eh? And this is the wave come from the same source. And therefore, their frequency must be the same. Eh? So frequency of the wave will not uh, be affected by the depth of the water. So that's what you need to know. So for conclusions. Um, from, from deeper to shallower regions, from deep to shallow water, uh, the speed decrease. Eh? Here faster, here slower. So the speed decrease. And then the wavelength also decrease. Here longer wavelength, shorter wavelength. Eh? But the frequency remain unchanged. Okay, examples. Uh, let's say this is a ripple tank. And then we put a piece of perspex. Eh? perspex. We use perspex because uh, it's transparent. Eh? And then the light pass through the perspex and pass through the bottoms of the ripple tank. Then it will form a bright and dark bands below the water, this uh, ripple tank. At the place where we have a perspex, the, the depth of the water will reduce. Okay, so this is a depth. So this, this place is deeper and this place is shallower. From the screen of the ripple tank, so below the tank there are the screen, and the screen shows the dark and the bright bands. Let's say the wave move from left to right. So when the wave passes through the perspex, the perspex here, that is the shallow regions. So the wavelength decreases, and also the speed decreases. Wavelength decreases, speed decreases. So after passes through the perspex, uh, so the wave becomes something like this, something like this. So you see these wavelengths it left behind. Eh? At, at the beginnings it moved together. Okay, when passes through the shallower region it moves slower. So after that it will left behind by the side. The side move forwards, but uh, the center is at the back. Okay, because it moves slower at this area. So this is the, the patterns of the wavefront diagram that we get eh, from the ripple tank. So this shows that at shallower regions, the wavelength is shorter and also uh, the wave moves slower. Yes, because uh, in, in the book or in sometimes in exam, they just show you this diagram. Eh, so you need to understand what does it mean. Okay, So it means that the wave move here and ends uh, at the perspex because it's shallower. So the wavelength becomes shorter and it moves slower. Okay, so after it passes through the perspex, so the wavelength here will be left behind. Let's see the equations uh, that relates the, the wavelength 
and the speed uh, in a deeper region and shallower region. The D represent the deeper regions and the S represent the shallower regions. Uh, okay. So the relationship between the speed and the wavelengths of the wave in deep and shallow region is given by the formula below. This formula. Okay. Actually, this is derived from the formula V equals F lambda. So it's derived from uh, this formula V equals F lambda. So uh, VD, VD is the speed of wave in deeper regions. And uh, lambda D is the wavelength of wave in deeper regions. Eh? And then uh, VS is the speed of wave in uh, shallower regions. And lambda S is the speed of uh, the wavelengths of wave in uh, shallower regions. So we are going to use this formula to solve some of the, some of the problems. Eh? 